So I found this really, 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 really funny video from the recount here. I just want to share. I want to comment on it. Because Donald Trump is a fucking idiot. And I know, I know, I know. Everyone knows that. I understand. Everyone knows that Donald Trump is an idiot. But please, bear with me. If you're a regular subscriber, if you come here often, bear with me. You know, I like laughing at Trump. And the most, most, the most, like, important reason for that is because... When I post Trump videos, I get a bunch of MAGA boomers that come to my channel, watch all my advertisements because they're watching on a phone or tablet, and then cry and whine about me in the comments. And then I reply to them. And then they go back to the video, watch the advertisements again, reply to me back. And then I do it over and over. This is just a money-making scheme. But speaking of money-making schemes, the American economy. Speaking of money-making schemes, Donald fucking Trump. Let's watch. And the 15 within a couple of days is going to be down to close to zero. Well, our numbers are lower than just about anybody. I'd love to have it open by Easter. You know it is going away. We've done, I think on average, really phenomenally. And you had doctors saying that we've done an incredible job. I think what happens is it's going to go away. This is going to go away. Well, this virus is going to disappear. This is going to go away without a vaccine. It's going to go away and it's, uh, we're not going to see it again, hopefully. We have met the moment. And we have prevailed. It'll go away at some point. It'll go away. Many of these people aren't very sick, but they still go down as a case. We were able to cut. Yeah, but like, again, I, real quick, like, he's just so stupid. He's so fucking stupid. He's so stupid. Like, imagine this is who you fucking hit your wagon to. Imagine. Imagine being that much of a fucking beta male fucking cuck. This, this is the hill that you die on. This. Like, I respect, like, conservatives. There is no such thing as a conservative. They're just neo-Nazis at this point. But I respect conservatives who are openly anti-Trump. Because at least, like, at least they have, like, some semblance of moral authenticity. You know, like, at least, and again, like, it's like 0.1% as opposed to 0%. You know, like, and it's just like, imagine, like, like, instead of hitching your wagon to Trump, go to like Tom Cotton or something, you know, start go from working on the Tom Cotton project for 2024. Like, do something. To, um, I shouldn't give these people ideas. Oh, my God. Cut it off. Stop it. Just like this. And it is dying out. The numbers are starting to get very good. And now it's time to open up. Get back to work. The coronavirus, that's going to sort of just disappear, I hope. We show cases, 99% of which are totally harmless. We're not closing. We'll never close. We want to stay open, and we will stay open. We're not closing. We have to get our schools open and stop this political nonsense. You're losing a lot of lives by keeping things closed. 140 something thousand deaths i say something because every time i fucking look at it it goes up a thousand and it's hard to keep in mind but it's not just the deaths it's the people that can never taste food again for the rest of their lives there are babies that are being diagnosed with covid potentially destroying their development both neurologically and physically imagine you were a baby and your parents didn't believe in masks or Maybe your parents did believe in germs, but you lived in Texas. So only like 30% of Texas believes in germs. Oops. Now you can't taste anything for the rest of your life. Now you have trouble remembering things for the rest of your life, etc., etc. Now you have trouble fucking walking for the rest of your life because people in your town didn't believe in germs. This is serious. This is going to affect all of us. For everyone watching this video, this moment is going to affect us for the rest of our lives. All of us. Whether or not you believe in germs, if you're a Republican Trump sycophant and you don't believe in germs, okay. Tell me about that in 30 years. Tell me about how your kids think about that in 30 years. I'd love to hear your story. Thank you for watching. This guy's a fucking moron.